you know, block folks, and basically we'll zoom in and we see how fast the clock's going. We might have to adjust it, but we'll leave it where it was originally at when we go in and take a look at what we got at the end of the satellite. So let's go ahead and zoom in. We'll go in at 773. There you go. So basically on this one, we just get the movement of a star going into the end of the antenna. We don't get the rotator that we had before. Now like I say, if you go to a, a laptop, you can see what's going on here. And basically you end up getting, they're blocking now, as you can see, they've put a pixel in since we started making the recordings of this. Now they're pixelizing the solar panel. As you can see here, the corner of the pixelization. They never used to do this before, you used to be able to see through it. So now they're doing this. So they're covering up, not letting us see what we want to see. Or, and I'm sure they'll, they'll say their excuse is, oh, we're just doing this for the camera shot. Okay, whatever. So, we get a little bit of a look into the magnetical loop out there in space. It kind of drops down like that, and you get the magnetical of it. So, as you get to see, and then it curves up. So, at least now we can start seeing a signature of the magnetical dump out of the sun, as you see here and kind of follow the yellow brick road a little bit then it becomes kind of hard and you got to try to figure out but as you can see you get this dump out here you can follow this snake up out of the sun area so So, you do get the movement of this star, though, coming out and going back in the satellite. It does move more. This one, for sure, does move more than all of these others. And quite a bit more than that star there. And as you see, the satellite is moving this way and those stars there have something to do with something around by the sun they move that way so up by the sun we find movement again of those two stars because the satellite is moving this way but these stars move back this direction faster than anything and they do go behind the now the movement of the satellite helps it too but it's not the movement of the satellite and we are starting to see pixelization that they're doing here and it's still even it's so damn bright that it's even kind of moving through so we might pretty much have the sun right here this may pretty much be it on this pixelization that they do here the big dark square and it, and it might just be that the fact that they do it to knock the glare down, who knows, but at least we're starting to know where we can see the sun in the solar panel, and it's basically right there. Now I'll pop up to, uh, and like I say, you can see this dump out of, basically, and then as you see out through the dump out, you see that dark, big dark blotch there. So, and as we know the spiral of the sun, and all the planets magnetically connected to it, that basically rotate around it at a, quite a bit of a distance. One all you, you got to remember that. Magnetic will get drugged behind, so 
This is the latest and we'll go ahead and we'll zoom in on this. Uh, we'll go ahead and go to the zooming tool. I got it at 777. Actually, let's go 999 and bring it up 999 first. I'll put this down. Get rid of this. Boom. So I'm pretty sure we can probably get just a good enough view here. So no matter what, this star here doesn't just go straight. So we get an interesting view. We know that the satellite's moving somewhat this way, or at least the, the stars in the solar system are moving this way. And definitely the satellite's moving this way. It's not moving. It's not moving that direction. Okay, and or sitting still as much as it can. So, an interesting view at those stars again. We'll pull the magnifier up and take a little bit better look and see if there's just anything interesting that pops into there. But here we go. And we pretty much figure that the sun is probably this right here. I don't know if my cursor's working very good, but you can see with your own eyeballs what's blinking there, that pretty much more than likely is the sun. And then that's the magnifying, or the flashlight action that we get down here on Earth. And this ends up shooting out towards, because basically there's light coming over through this satellite that would be going to Earth, so, so no matter what, we get a look at a couple stars. And at the very tip of the, we get the darkness of space, and then those two stars there at the end of the. So, another good view of what we've seen earlier. And let's go look at some other sketchy stuff. And we'll pop it just so you know that that's what we're looking at. There you go. So, and now over here on the other side, we get what we were looking for. So, we might have something that was moving from Stereo B's side to Ward's Stereo H12A. So, here's a great find again today because as we see, we get this action here. So, we have definitely found something up by the sun. All right, so let's zoom in on this. We'll put this in it at, and you see Mercury and everything, so like that. We're going to go up here, and we're going to zoom in right here, and we'll move our way to over to the satellite and see what we get, and we'll go 999 to get that in. So we have a great find here again today. And so it just gets better and better. So it is pretty much actual factual confirmed here that we have... Uh, found something and basically it's moving from stereo B side to the A side and we go over here and we'll see Mercury and Earth Venus is above Jupiter is there we might see Saturn as we go across here not worried about that we're, we're, so no matter what if that is the Sun or if it's a planet or whatever we have found something dramatic that is hella flashing large on A so, we've been finding stuff at B, and now we've found this stuff very dramatically up here on, uh... So, either we're getting a better shot at the sun, which you could see it kind of matches up on when we're looking at from B, what could be the sun. So we're starting to, uh... Either the satellites are getting closer to the sun, and that is the sun pulsing there, or we have found something pulsing up by the sun, because we know the sun is up behind the solar panel. So, basically, the sun is doing enough activity that we can see it through the solar panel. We've never really been able to notice that before. At least I never really noticed it before. So, this is real dramatic here. We got it at 900. And if you don't understand what we're looking at, <laughs> it's the pulsing right here. So we very much have possibly gotten a hold of a very good view of what's going on on the sun. Or we found something that's up by the sun. Now, 
Remember, this circular cluster is very much well lookable at at the sun on the other side on B that I was at, so take a look at that there. So, no matter what, we get a look at this. So, and no matter what, we've got stuff on the other side of the sun, because you've got magnetic lines right there. Either that or that's the sun. So, definitely we have found something up by Mars, because Mars is over that way right now. If you go to any JPL, you'll figure it out. So basically you have three or four objects that are over there behind the sun that we never really can see, because the sun always blocks us with telescopes to be able to see it. And more than likely, that's the sun or something else. So, you get a very powerful look at something huge, which basically should be the sun. Now, it's millions of miles we're looking off across space. But let's go ahead and go out and get a good representation of uh, how, f how large it is compared to Jupiter and so forth. And as you can see, it's quite huge, so we pretty much, and Jupiter's close to the camera, so it looks larger. We pretty much probably have got this nailed down that that there is the sun. And then that there's other stars doing some basically connectivity with the sun right there close by, because basically we pop back up at 999, and we will see what we've been seeing there. I just wasn't watching that too much at the very end of it. So no matter what, there's some pulsating going on between this star there and the sun. So this may be part of our uh, snake DNA of star cluster. And this might actually be the mass that we end up seeing some, somewhere in this area is that curvature. So there's the daisy chain of stars quite possibly with the sun that we've seen in my video yesterday. So, and let me take you to the title of that one if you haven't seen it. It's just basically the last video I had up. I'm pretty sure I've got that. So anyway, we're getting a good view from out in space of it now. So we look for the circular of it, and it's basically the railroad train of the sun connections to the other stars in the universe. So, and you get it communicating right there, blink, blink, back and forth. So. There's not one, there sure don't look like one IU between there and there. So, there's definitely something up by the sun. Here's A's most recent view. As you see, it's drawed back pretty far. As you can see, Mercury looks very small when it doesn't have a CME reactive flare. When the sun's CME electrical magnetical, magnetical uh, calms down, and because this is all electrical and space dust, sun electrical activity coming out in there and biting the sun, and I mean Mercury, excuse me, because that is the sun over here to the right, and then uh, you can see how small it does when it's not doing its flare. So the sun is making a lot of planets look very large right now, and let's go over to uh, B on the other side, on H1A, and at B you can see how it looks, uh, and since uh, Mercury and Venus are closer to B than over on the A headshot, that should be Venus up here, and Mercury. So, that's the freshest from B behind. Here's a fresh Navy ahead shot, date and time from Lasco. So, you can see the remnant up there by the sun, and all the other remnants that are up by the sun. And we're getting, I think, remember red's fresh. We've got lots of quakes and also orange. Here's your go by the your deal to look at them. There you go, 2.1. Uh, let's see what we got over here over northern Cali. We got 2.9, so way high. America is pretty much the freshest for quakes for today, too.
We can't really see what we figured was Antares today because it's getting blocked out on this shot. So let's look at the, uh, 